Hi guys, that black guy here bringing to you some gameplay videos from Dungeon Defenders. It is a fairly new game brought to you by Trinity Games. Um, it was on iPad first, but I think they started the PC version before that. But they was it wasn't it obviously didn't come out until just recently on the PC. I think they do also have a console version for Xbox. I'm not quite sure. I don't play console generally. Uh, so here's the starting menu screen. It's what you first see when you log into the game. Let's go ahead and have a look at the op some of the options here. So controls looks like they're entirely able to be remapped. I'm going to actually turn out the mouse speed just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Oh, looks like there's a. Okay. There's a, their own little VI, voiceover IP thing going on here. And. Okay. So, not a whole lot of graphic options. It's um, fairly low in that. But I don't really think the game really needs that many tweaking. It doesn't take a entirely powerful computer to, to play this. I'm actually going to play online here. You can play a local and it uh, allows you to also include mods and stuff like that. Um, but I don't think mods will be able to be played online if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. The open is able to be played with, with mods but the ranked is not. It's, it's real play. Okay, so it looks like I, okay, because the free DLC gives you these mummy and the basically the um, skins for Halloween. Really nice. It has an event calendar, I guess, when you open it up. It's not too shabby. Donning his robe and wizard hat, the apprentice is eager to delve deeper into the world of the arcane. Under the guidance of the Grand Magus, the apprentice has learned the art of conjuration. While summoning towers of mystical defense to aid him, he blasts his enemies with waves of magic from afar. Okay. Ah! Night in training, the squire upholds the honor and nobility of his kingdom. I think I'm actually going to be a squire. Glory, building defenses of brute force and limited range, the squire prefers melee weapons as his instruments of justice. Bludgeon. Ah! Trained in reconnaissance, the sleek and slender huntress deploys deadly traps. What is wrong with her face? But do not be fooled by her appearance. This elegant Shida is trained in ranged weaponry and is sure to always hit her mark. Launching a volley of arrows from the shadows, the enemy never sees her coming. Once a peaceful and passive student, the monk has been called from his solitary meditation and forced to take up arms in the defense of his land. Only he, through his expert spear-fighting skill, can avenge the death of his master. Channeling his aura, the monk uses energy to heal his allies and cripple foes. Okay, well, I'm not exactly pro in these types of games. Um, this is actually my first time playing a game like this. I've been told that it's kind of like an Orcs Must Die type thing, and I have not played that game either, so... Let's, uh, let's try a Squire here. Huh. Okay. So we're actually able to mess with the hues here. Uh, yeah, let's go with the uh, Black Knight. There we go. Red. Uh, let's do that. There we go. We're the Black Knight. Oh, change outfit. What? Oh, okay. How much do these types of things cost? Uh, it's actually a free DLC, okay. Um, hmm. I'm actually s stuck. Okay, okay, never mind. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I got that costume. That's cool. 
Uh, why not? Let's go with it. Uh, still gonna be the Black Knight. There we go. Uh, accessories red. <laughs> oh. That looks so funny. Okay, and my name? Do I get to change that at all? Mm. Oh, damn it. Oh, let's go with that one. Hmm. Next button is not highlighted. Okay. The next button is highlighted for those. That is strange. Very strange. Maybe I have to restart the client. Okay. That makes sense. But let's not do that. Let's let's just go with the Black Knight Squire. There we go. Okay. Default name, Lancelot. No. We're gonna go with black black guy. Um we get to edit the color of our crystal looks like. Okay. I'm gonna go red, why not? There we go, nice and blood red. What? Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Gives me a symbol for a mouse and keyboard, because that's what I'm using. Uh, I was told you can use a gamepad for this, which is good. Uh, not for me, I don't like gamepads, but I'm just saying you can do it. Okay. Mm hmm. I don't know what these types of games are, so I'm just gonna go private match. Okay, that's cool. Got an achievement, woohoo. Okay, well, let's actually look around in this tavern here for a second. Um, hmm. Okay, that's my shop, I guess. I was also told that these things uh, change pretty much every single time you defeat a level. So to get around that, you actually have to lock these in. I don't really need to lock them in, but I'm just saying uh, to get around that, you, you do need to lock them in. Let's look at my item box here. I have nothing in my item box, okay. And we're back. Apparently I have to run it in full screen mode because I was looking at a lot of um, a lot of reviews about the game and it's saying that for some reason in window mode it doesn't quite record very well and it it appeared quite scrambled. I, don't, I have no idea why. Um, but anyways we're gonna start the first level here. Remember I am a squire and it's supposedly the easiest besides the apprentice is the easier uh, you know this is by the game standard it's not by me not by any personal experience of my own I have only seen videos and gameplay videos of some in-game content uh, so let's go ahead and start this on medium so we do that by hitting the go button
Okay, so that was the intro to the game. If you've ever, if you've ever played the game, it's the first thing you see when you start the game. And apparently it's the first thing you see when you start the first level. And it's every single time. Uh, so, I've been reading about uh, the Squire during the downtime. It, it was about an hour or so. And there's like two different types. There's a defense Squire, which goes after his towers. Or actually, there's three. And then there's a like a attack squire where you go after pure stats and just have towers in there to slow the enemies down and then there's a hybrid build where you kind of go for a little bit of both I think I'm gonna try a little bit of above both but anyways I'm still going to probably go pure attack until like probably level 20 or so I mean there's probably no reason not to okay so let's get started here it uh, looks like you get mana and items from these chests, and these chests spawn after every single wave. If you fail to collect an item from the chest, it turns into mana when you start the next wave. And will be in your bank, but will not be usable for this round. Okay, so let's let's get something up here on the stairs. Looks like they're only going to come from that door, right there, um, for this wave. But it looks like they'll probably go from either to either stairway here. So let's just get a proper defense on them. Slow them down as I'm attacking them because I don't have any towers. Or I don't have any defenses that do damage yet except for, well, I guess they do melee damage to these if it's a melee. But if it's an archer, it won't deal any damage to them. Okay. Uh, well, I have kind of ex a lot of extra mana here, so let's just um, hmm, let's open this to see if there's any items. No, there's no items. So let me go ahead and place. Let me go ahead and just start this. And it looks like there's a leaderboards here. Uh, it's for score. The really the way to get the highest score here is there's multipliers. Um, is to not have any damage done to your crystal. That's like the biggest thing ever. If you have zero damage done, you get a nice bonus. To not have built any towers, you also get a bonus for that. And for no damage being dealt to you, you also get a bonus for that. And also, you get a bonus for time as well. That's how your score goes up, and that's how your time goes up. The higher score and time you have, the higher score and the lower time you have, the higher your basically your score is, you, you your, your time is configured into your score. So ba basically, the higher score you have, the higher score you have. This is so this guy looks like fifty one ninety nine hundred and eleven, and it's probably gonna be the highest, like the highest you can possibly get. Uh, and I don't know what mode that is on. Does it say? No, it does not say what mode it's on. So it could be medium, could also be hard or insane. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and heal this one. Okay, it looks like that. Ta that defense is actually doing a pretty sizable amount of damage. And I'm going to wait for the archer to get out of that immunity zone. And I'm going to kill the archer and let the wall do the rest. There we go. Wave complete. Okay. Really all I can do here is build, again, more walls. So let's just, just go ahead and do that. I know there's probably going to be something coming out here later, so let's just go ahead and wall this off now then I'll do the same thing for the other side ooh a, a sword it has 11 damage and I wonder what that thing is maybe there's something that'll tell me okay so we equip the item it would be F oh, that's pretty big that's what she said okay let's look in this chest over here I'm not wearing a chest, so that's automatically an upgrade. Default. And 
I'm not wearing any gloves, so that's automatically an upgrade. But I can't equip it because it's only it requires a level two champion. And nothing in there. So let's go ahead and build a defense over here. Right about there. And let's come over here. Okay, so we got enemies coming out of three walls. Three doors, I should say. And this one has the most, so I'm just going to come over here. That does a lot more damage. Okay, I'm going to kill these archers as soon as they come out of the immunity zone. Oh, dodge that. Almost got hit there. Okay, we're gonna come over here and kill this guy. We're gonna come over here and kill this last archer. There, there is a problem, I guess, with the squire. Starting at level one, you have, you can do nothing against these archers because they except for attack them. Oh, so it looks like I actually leveled up there, so I will get to level two. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so let's go with more hero damage, obviously. So I'm at plus three for that. And it looks like I can hold 60 mana now, so it looks like it does increase by 20 every single time. Boots. More boots. And a helm. Uh, level requires level four. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just build more defenses just in case. Never can have too many, right? Okay, so it looks like I can build another one right there. here and build another one where this ogre is supposed to come out of. Or not the ogre, the big guys are supposed to come out of, probably. I'm going to assume. And hope he attacks that. Now let's repair this right here. Let's repair this one as well. Place this one down right here. Another one right here. Okay, so I get the bouncer blockade at level three, it looks like. Let's go ahead and collect this mana. No reason not to, right? Okay. And also it seems like the the last mana you use in a in a uh, to get through this is actually the more mana that it turns up to your bank. I don't I don't know if that's uh, true or not, but it, it seems that way. Okay, so Defender's Forge. What's this? Okay, let's go look at my item box. Oh, let's equip those gloves there. Why not? Gift a hero. And Helm requires level four. Okay. Oh, okay. Looks like I can upgrade this somehow. Let's actually see here. Um, hmm. Mm. Okay, let's. Oh, okay. Um, invest. Why not? Why not? And why not? There we 
go. Upgrade available. Let's go with more melee damage. Well, that doesn't seem to do anything at all. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. Let's go ahead and start this. I, mean, I, I just assume it's going to cost so much for the later game stuff, because that, that costs a hell of a lot of mana right there. Hell of a lot. Uh, can't really tell if I'm doing more damage. Yeah, take that, take that. Okay, just gonna play clean up here. Get this guy over here. And get this guy over here. And wave completes. Rather easy one. And let's just loot these chests just to make sure I'm not missing out on any upgrades. Oh, okay. Upgrade on my level. It's always nice. And ooh, nice sword. Yeah, I'll take that. It's one damage decrease, but it deals it has some type of elemental damage it looks like. Plus it's a lot faster. I'm a ninja now. I'm a ninja squire. Come up here and let's start the level. Let's go ahead and just knock out this group right here. Oh, yeah, the damage. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> that is a lot of damage. Oh my god. I don't know whether that was my level up or it was just like the, the weapon. That's just a lot. I'm like murdering these things. Literally. So it looks like, yeah, this is the final wave, so let's go ahead and just go ahead and repair everything. Let's get more hero damage in, why not? Repair this over here. Looks like I'm up to 100 mana of cap now. And I can actually use my bouncer thing in a bobber, so let's, let's see if I can put a couple of those out this game. Uh, let's let's put one right here. Cause hey, why not? Let's put another right here. Another upgrade. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like an upgrade, all right. Let's go ahead and take it. Oh, but it's slower. Hmm. Oh well. Let's put another. Why not? Okay, let's go ahead and start this wave after I repair this. And probably that up there, yep. Let's repair those two. Hopefully my defenses hold. Oh, 
boss with big guys down here too. Okay. Meanwhile, while they're beating up on those, I will just attack them for some free damage, because why not? Okay, let's kill this guy. And let's get these guys over here. Oh, one of my blockades with the sword looks like. Figure out which one. Oh, I'm gonna put tab button to find out. Uh, hmm. It was a story, but it looks like he died in the process, so it's all good. Uh, oh, over there. Okay. You shall not touch my crystal. Bam! Die! Okay, totally failed that round, but it's okay. It's my first game. Well, let's go for more hero damage. I leveled twice that one, wow, okay. So I got to level 6 in one game. Doesn't sound OP at all. Could be because of the difficulty. Looks like I'm at about a thousand mana now, too. I don't think I need to collect all of this. I think I can actually just leave and it'll collect it for me. Uh, let's actually test this. Yes, there's a mana over there. Let's see if it says that there's mana added to it after I leave. Uh, next level, sure. 